All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the very first vlog that I'll be doing, and I'm going to be sharing with you my experience joining the judo fundamental classes at the school of judo or SOJ. For those of us um, who has been following my channel, you know, my name is Bobby. I've been taking karate for the past two and a half years, coming to three years, and I've always been very interested in exploring martial arts. You know, since young, I've never really gotten a chance to do so, and you know, picking up karate really expanded expanded my mind, and now I want to expand my horizons by trying out different martial arts as well. If you don't know what judo is. It is a Japanese martial art that teaches you how to throw and submit your opponent using leverage and balance. It's also a great way to improve your overall fitness, confidence, and self-defense skills. Once again, you know, I've always been very interested in taking up martial arts, but since young, I never really had the opportunity. So as I got older, I really wanted to try out and experience new things, but I didn't know where to start. So that's where I actually decided to sign up for a free trial class with uh, School of Judo. This is actually one of the most uh, reputable judo clubs in Singapore. They have very experienced and friendly coaches who can actually teach you the fundamentals and basics of judo in a safe and fun environment. They also have classes from different levels and ages, I guess, from beginners like myself to advanced from children to adults. So I arrived at School of Judo, which is actually located in uh, Serangoon Road. And um, it's it was held in a place which is called Elite Martial Arts, a very interesting place. And it was a very spacious and well-equipped place with tatami mats, which uh, for those of us who are new and don't know about it, uh, tatami mats are actually the traditional flooring where judo is practiced. The moment I got there, you know, I was greeted by Coach Asfa, who's actually the head coach and founder of School of Judo. He has more than 30 years of judo practice and has coached several Singapore national team members and of course, I think if I'm not mistaken, Southeast Asian game teams as well. He was actually very welcoming and introduced me to um, the fundamentals, what I was learning, what's going to happen, and even introduced me to some of the other students who were there for the fundamental classes. So class started off with uh, warm-ups, and in the warm-up session, we did some stretching, we did some jogging, and then of course, you know, Coach Asfa also shared with us some of the basic etiquettes of judo about bowing, going into seiza, uh, mokso. So it was a very interesting way to know that um, judo is a, a very gentle sport. It's a very, it, it was explained like judo is a gentle way. And it's also based on mutual respect and harmony. He told us that judo is not just a sport, but kind of like a way of life that can actually help us develop our physical and mental abilities. Next, of course, we learn the fundamental skill of judo, which is uh, ukemi, the breaking fall. And this was very important because Coach Asfa emphasized this a lot. It's where we learn to do uh, forward rolls, backward rolls, and of course leading to brick falls. And it was important because this enables us to fall safely without getting injured. So Coach Asfa actually demonstrated the forward rolls, the backward rolls, and even the side brick falls. Then he asked us to, of course, you know, to pair up and to practice with one another. And, you know, initially I was very nervous and I really didn't know what to do. You know, I was so awkward. I didn't know where to place my hands. I didn't know where to place my, my feet. But Coach Asfa was really, really, really friendly, really, really warm in sharing. Like he shared with us how to grip, where to hold, what to do, where to step. After that, of course, you know, he also shared a uh, basic throwing technique. Uh, I do apologize that I don't really know the name, but it was kind of more of a sweep. And it was important because in the fundamentals of judo, Coach Asfa also mentioned that um, when executing a throw, it was very important to uh, break the balance of uh, the person you are uh, practicing with. 
And then of course, you know, once you're able to break the balance, you need to finish the throw. He also taught us how to grip our opponent's gi and to ensure that, you know, we were holding on to it at the end of the throw. And of course, you know, at the end of it, you know, at the end of the session, Coach Asfa also allowed us to have a chance to practice randori, which is uh, probably free sparring. This is where we applied what we learned. Uh, it was a very interesting experience because we, we learned everything probably about an hour ago and we were practicing it there and then. It kind of helps to solidify that learning experience. And of course, you know, we switched partners every few minutes and we tried to throw each other using um, what, what we learned earlier. We even tried, uh, you know, being thrown, doing the break falls. And of course, we had to be very careful not to hurt ourselves or our partners. And as you can see in the video, me getting thrown around a lot. So we had to follow the rules of judo, such as not striking or kicking or grabbing below the belt. So the randori component was pretty exciting for me, um, coming from a karate background where it was a lot of striking and hitting. It was challenging because the whole concept of it was very different, but it was also fun. I, I managed to try to get in some trolls, maybe uh, during the practice with a partner, but also got thrown around by others using all different techniques. So I, I learned a lot from just observing and feeling how they moved and reacted. I also enjoyed the, the friendly competition and the camaraderie among the students. You know, we were really trying to go against each other, but of course in a very safe way. And I think uh, it was very, a very, I was very, very lucky that, you know, the people I partnered up with probably had some background in uh, BJJ, uh, Buddhism, Jiu-Jitsu. So they were, they were really, really good at what they did. You know, they, they had the fundamentals down. They were very solid. They were very firm. And it, it was almost impossible for me to get a throw in or to really get them to break their balance to put a throw. So then class ended with uh, cool down, simple stretching, breathing exercise. And of course, uh, we had a group photo. So Coach Asfa then thanked us for joining the class and you know invited us to continue coming for the fundamental sharing that there will be a curriculum that we'll be following. Uh, it'll be posted up on the website. So if you're interested to find out more, you can always reach out to uh, School of Judo and I'll probably put the link in the description below and you can always see where it leads you to. And of course, you know, Coach Asfa ended the session with giving us some advice on how to continue our judo journey and probably what benefits we can expect from it.
I feel like I'm going to Oh yeah, I think two or one session left. Yeah, yeah. I don't know you. One. One. Later, later. Okay. Oh, I could have just done that. I did not think about it. Oops. Oopsies. Oh, we'll get tomorrow, next time. Okay, wait, Friday? So, oh yeah, Friday, Friday. What do you have on Sunday? I have my friend's birthday party, so I'm like, mm, she'll get angry, so I'm like... I mean, it's just once in a while anyway. All right, so that was day one of judo beginner. Hi, Sensei. Hello. How do you think the class went? <laughs> Pretty good. Everyone was uh was uh everyone did quite well. Yeah. It's so a fundamentals class, so the pace was a bit slow. Everyone could follow, so I'm quite happy with it. Great, so I'll come back more, come back and see you more. All right, so that was uh, me and Coach Asfa. So I had a great time at School of Judo and I definitely want to learn more about Judo. I, I think it's an amazing martial art that can actually help me grow as a person and probably as an athlete. So if you're interested in trying out Judo too, I highly recommend you check out the School of Judo's website, which I'll put in the link below. Um, you can always go to the Facebook page or Instagram to find out a little bit more. I believe on the website, you'll be able to see the classes, the curriculum and the schedule. So that's all for today's vlog. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you all next time. Thank you very much. Bye.